in this country. And it's a marvel of the enemy PSYOP that we can be in the middle of a global financial sustained meltdown and have the establishment since 2008 globally turning the economy off on purpose, only giving themselves the literally hundreds of trillions in, in, in dollars and euros and other currencies and then passing the debt on to us while creating giant welfare classes whose daily government prayers are answered with more welfare and more largesse, ready to do politically whatever they're told for their handouts. Now, Now, continuing here, ladies and gentlemen, I've got so many hundreds of points I want to make. But we are in the midst of the continued economic conquest of the planet by the globalists. And again, they want to economically have conquest and control so that they can then run our lives because that's what they desire to do. And they want to run our lives in a very bad direction. And as their plan comes into crisp focus, and everyone sees the hypocrisy, everyone sees the fraud, everyone sees the security theater for what it is, a power grab, all of us will have a decision to make as it becomes more and more apparent. Are you going to speak out against this when we have a chance to turn it around? Or are you going to be forced to stand up against it when there's not much hope? But now you realize how evil it is and just your fight or flight kicks in. There's nowhere to run. You fight. I just got chills when I said that. And then, of course, there's a worse time. And I'm paraphrasing Winston Churchill right now. There's a time when you don't have any hope. But you're still going to fight because it's better than being on your knees, having these wolves pull your guts out your rear end. That's what wolves do, folks. They eat you from the hind end up because they like to watch you. They like to hurt you. They like to hear you cry and beg. They enjoy their, their red meat with screams. The New World Order has already killed most of us. They've already taken 10, 20, 30 years off our lifespans. They've already fed us GMO poison. They've already filled our water with poison. And they sell us expensive treatments for what they've helped engineer. A lot of it's human stupidity and human corruption, but guiding it and riding this beast of corruption, directing it like a grand conductor. Is the archetype of Mephistopheles. And people ask why, because to them, great evil and great suffering of the innocent is a beautiful thing. And we are a nation that rationalized and made up the legal arguments that on many levels can make sense to you. That 53 million babies since 1973 were not humans. And black people aren't humans, so go ahead and inject them with syphilis. And Appalachian poor white people weren't humans, so go ahead and sterilize them, inject them with syphilis. Oh, yeah, that's come out, too. It's just, you know, anybody they can get their hands on who nobody will believe, they're going to do this to them. What do you think they're doing now when I could sit here for 10 hours and just read declassified public tests of lethal and close to lethal agents on innocent populations by the people running this government. Of course they took blood for 42 years worldwide at birth from everyone under globalist control. That's the British Empire, Europe, and the United States. That's, that's the global empire right now. I mean, my gosh, the Arabs are corrupt and out of control. The Russians have got their own corruption. But they're not putting cancer viruses in their vaccines. Oh, they were back in the Soviet Union.
That's why they've rejected everything they were, at least on the surface. Old habits die hard. But it's all real. The New World Order is real. All the things they're doing to us are real. Look at the lawlessness of military bases all over the United States as staging grounds for the welfare queens of Latin America and the rest of the world now is coming. These aren't the, quote, hardworking immigrants that would come here in the past who then second generation will become welfare queens like other Americans, but still vote for the Democratic Party and gun control and socialism because that was the group that was their friend even as they push Gardasil shots on their daughters. Sterilization shots. Now it's literally the criminal dregs, the mules, the gang members, the mentally disturbed, the prisoners, and, you know, 500-pound women with six kids and six sex underwear. Dumping them here, and then having the gall with Nancy Pelosi last weekend, coming out and saying, we're all citizens of North America, this hemisphere, we're all Americans, that's, that's the new talking point, that's Petraeus saying, what's next, North America, but it's not some North America where you mix Switzerland and the United States better attributes with the better attributes of Latin America. And there's some good things about Latin America. No, no, no. You take the worst things and you put them on a pedestal. And why did the CIA declassify last year that they would promote sick and deviant art? And that they would push that on the American audience? Because they had to get you, in their own words used to accepting anything. And it's not that I can't handle sick or deviant art. It's not that there isn't even something sometimes too sick or deviant art to illustrate something political. It's that they pushed it to sabotage the elective process that a normal brain would develop over life to push people into degeneracy so that you would be weak and could be destroyed. And I told people that for years and now it's declassified. I mean, it's not, I don't need to read classified documents to, to look at an operation. And again, it is as if Satan himself ran our government. Whether you believe in the devil or not. Because the way they get good people to go along with this and to work for it and to be part of it and, 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 and how deceived they are and how invested in the lie they are, destroying their own future. Imagine the fact that we broke three weeks ago with emergency managers, ICE agents, video of it, whistleblowers, on camera, off camera, by every journalistic standard, wasn't the radio host Alex Jones, the mad prophet of the airwaves, as they call me, you know, at the Southern Poverty Law Center or Time Magazine, up there ranting about it? It was just reporters being serious, going down doing interviews. And a week after we broke it, Drudge Report carried it. DrudgeReport.com carried the Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com articles. AP came out and said, yeah, uh, the illegals are being bust deeper into the United States by the government. They didn't go on to say, by the way, the government pays for it and advertises for them to come up here. But they told most of the story. And then guess who came out as soon as that got traction? The White House came out through Media Matters, but the White House came out as well and said, 
I mean, this is the anatomy, the tissue of a total fraud. The structure of it. You can study just this one lie with a master's degree. and Because once you understood this lie, you understand how all the other lies work. And how the lie just sits there as a fraud and then it's just an excuse for us to do nothing, Congress to do nothing, the states to do nothing, while our entire futures are being burned down now. This is only the beginning. You have small towns collapsing all along the 2,000 mile border. You have crime exploding. And you have the federal government pulling in with buses from Mexico and no border patrol trucks at a stand down and not just us saying it, the border patrol union president and vice president are on infowars.com, Breitbart, on record saying, yes, we've been ordered three months.